My name is Shirley Williams and uh, I'm 61 years old and uh, I have been a professional artist for about 20 years. My dad was in the military and we lived literally all over the world, um, 60 years of which was in Europe. So that gave me a taste for art and I think um, that gave me this desire to, to be around art. I have been painting um, contemporary abstracts for 20 years and it comes from a memory I used to have when my parents were traveling. Um, we used to jump in a car and they'd stick my brother and I in the back seat and we'd drive all over the countries that we were living in and you know as a kid I'd be bored and you see the abstract landscape basically through the, the I would look at it sort of through the slitted eyes and I could see these colors and everything kind of going through as the move as the horizon moved and that was a memory that would go on for hours and hours you know so I've, I've painted these abstract landscapes again and again I don't work from what I see I work from what I think and so I, it's important to me to have a concept that I want to really explore and, and so um, I've been in that filling the well mode and now again I can't wait to get into the studio. So if I have to be here and if I have a commission or, or if I have a deadline and I have to paint something, um, what I usually do, um, I'll come in, I'll start cleaning up, go through my sketchbooks, uh, mess around, clean brushes and uh, look and think and then before I know it I'm back into it again and, and it's time to go and I look at my watch and it's God it's time to go home it's eight o'clock at night right so uh, yeah it, it's just a matter of trying to be disciplined to come every day to push yourself to do something when you're not feeling like it and not to force it I think there's an aspect of trust that you have to do with your product with your person um, with your creativity you have to trust that if you just kind of put yourself in the space and in the frame of mind and remind yourself what your intention is with that particular piece, whatever it is, whether it's a film or a painting. Um, what is your intention? And you, you, you kind of think about that and then the ideas will come. Now I'm really getting interested in uh, Photoshop and digital layering of art, not, not graphic art, but using, I have, I mean over the years I must have painted 10,000 paintings and I've got a huge inventory of um, digital media uh, from my own work and I'm just experimenting right now with, with layering um, the textures of some of my paintings with uh, original drawings that I've done that I've never shown um, and, and start to try to create stories within them that more people can, can relate to. So that's the, the evolution that's now taking place as I'm combing through all of my, um, my photographs and, my, and converting them to digital and, and doing a lot of things that, that, will, that, that are leading me into that next phase. wonderful feeling and it's um, it is kind of like you're not there your your body takes over writers always talk about the, the character in the book taking on a life of its own a painting can do that too if you're in that moment of trust if you're if at some point the the technical aspect once you're proficient enough and you've done the, your craft long enough you're no longer thinking about the technical, you know, uh, if, if, you know, the, the compositional elements or, or the whatever. You're actually, your hand becomes an extension of your creative thought. And once you've reached that, that moment, there is no, um, it's like there's no division. I, I, it's like you're making love to the canvas. You're, you're, you're connected to it and it's connected to you.